What's the password? What's the password? Hey, groovy guys and gals, cats and kittens, Elliot's and Maisie's, Saul's overseas, Don's and DC's, and K with displays. Ho oh, ho! It is almost my birthday, and it was Employee per uh, Appreciation Day at work. And guess what? The people in charge said I could take one home for Big Mama and Trixie. <laughs> looky, looky! It is almost birthday day, so <laughs> let's rock and roll. Now these came out of an old case, a storage bin, and they're kind of vintage oldie. So let's dig in and see what we got. Hey cats and kittens, it's a toy car case event at Johnny Roman Supper Club. It is 316 on old Johnny Clock. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Oh, so here we go, guys and gals. <laughs> We've got some cars. We're going to start with the cars first, and then this printed material. Now, you guys know I love the printed material. But <laughs> looky, looky, ticky, ticky. Chocolate, chocolate from nothing but bunt cakes. <laughs> oh, you know, if you go there on your birthday, they'll give you one for free. That is pretty cool. You got to sign up and get their emails. I talked to them at a trade show once and <laughs> got the inner scoop to do. So look at this. No chippy dippy or whack a lack a jack attack on these babies. They're still in the blister pack. Unless you're, you know, the 30 year anniversary where all the paint flaked off. <laughs> you remember that video? So this is collector number 944. And it's the Buggin' Out series, the Baja Bug, which, because the the tile man that's been watching these videos, this is what his Baja looked like. He didn't have the scoop on the top or a sunroof, but it was bright yellow and big stinger exhaust. And it was a great car, <laughs> classic. And uh, so I always... In memory, great childhood memories, I'd always get these Baja bugs whenever they came out. So, pretty cool with a literally a bug on this side. Got it? So, here you go. Again, play sets. So, that's one. Oh, look at that nummy numbers. So, here's the other one. Just a straight Baja bug blue car it was a red car for a while then it went to blue but look at this baby is that sweet I'm just loving this so gorgeous look at the big fatties on there <laughs> so this is from 1997 so it came in 98 here's your fun tip collector collector tip introduced in 1996 first edition series heaviest vehicle hot wheels line i never got one of those i was looking i was looking but i'm telling you i could never find one that was cool but so here's the bug out series or no that's the bug out series and this is just the straight baja bug collector number 835 for that year I don't think they were putting case numbers on those at that point. Here's all your legal mumbo jumbo. This one's from 1998, so this one's a year later from the Buggin' Out series. Oh, and here's the four in the series. Treadnator, Shadow Jet 2, Radar Ranger, <laughs> remember that, six-wheel monster, and then the Baja Bugski. It's number four, and here it says that. I don't know if I focused on that for you. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And then we got the race team series, which is cool. All oh, bent card, and there's a look at that. That's a crease. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> we did our best to protect it. Four. Oh, look at that. It's 1998. 22 years <laughs> collector tip another one 
So anyways, this is number 728. Race team, 63 Corvette. I love these. So much fun. That's number four of four. This is number three of four. It's the Shelby Cobra. Race Team 4 Series, 427. Look at that. Love this thing. Just gorgeous. That hood opens, as you all know. Look at that. Hot Wheels. Different logo on the base there. Or on the boot. Look at that. That is, that is one nice... These Race Series cars I always dug. So that's four, three... Here is number two of four, Mercedes C-Class. That's the poor man's Mercedes. Totally rocking on that. Just the colors, just gorgeous. Look at the little details and everything. I am totally loving everything about that. 726, here's your collector tip. Introduced Hot Wheels 4 Car Collector Series in 1995. Look at that. That is nice. And here is the number one. Do you know what kind of car it is? What are you guessing? Number one of four. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, you saw it. 67 Camaro. Oh, look at that. So gorgeous in these colors. I just love the way they were doing it. Hood opens on this one too. This is fantastic. This one is number 725 collector. Oh, that is crazy. So there's our cars. Pretty cool cars, right? Oh, yeah. I love those race series. So now yes baby you're at a toy car case event and it's almost my birthday so i've got all these printed things this is the thunder squad squadron rebel little mini poster look at that wheels of fire build the adventure look at that little poster pretty cool huh this was to promote their their model series and they had all these models there now Trixie she built some of these which is really cool all you airplane guys like Adam digging that look at that chopper very cool Apache helicopter and it has all the names for me so that is cool so again a little piece of print material but these oh remember vandy camps free vandy camps now i do have some of those they they had a bus in there that i tried to get couldn't find it save a dollar get a vandy camps and this came in the special edition gto so that is pretty cool but look at this how to get going hot wheels collector starter guide so all you starters out there that want to start collecting don't do it it's a trap it's an abyss that you can never get out once you start collecting just ask any of these guys look at these special collector poster again if you ever sent away for those posters they're pretty cool because they have all the cars so this Oh, here's a few key terms. Oh, look at this. It names all the tires. I should read this thing. Blister pack, two pack, MBI, mint and blister. Tampo is the pattern applied to simulate decals and stripes, variations, vintage series. So here are all the wheels. You've got red lines. Where's the red line? Oh, it doesn't have it on there. <laughs> One, it says red line. So that's a red line tire without the red line. Two, 
ultra hots. Oh, this is ultra hots. This one. Nice. Three real riders. Four three spoke wheels. Oh, you remember those? And they give the dates of when they go. This is pretty cool. So take a screenshot of that. Freeze it. Take a screenshot. And you could be totally cool. Bonus cars. They used to give away bonus cars. Look at this. Some of the cars that they were launching. These are, um, I think, treasure hunts. Because I always wanted one of those and I never got one. But that's okay. Yep, treasure hunt cars. Look at these. Oh, and the groove grater. I mean, street cleaner. <laughs> so, look at this. Dinosaur mud pit, too. So, these collector books have all sorts of cars from that year in there. And that's, to me, you've got a, a year record of everything that is cool. So, this is going through by years. This is... 1997 first editions remember the excavator hard to find the rest of these I think I got all of them this was a cool one look at this did you know collector tips quick series quick silver series oh and look a pop-up Oh, it shows the loop-de-loo <laughs> in your pop-up section. Again, these are these are just so much fun. The White Ice series, remember that? I got some of those somewhere that they'll come out some days. Dealer's Choice, I got all those too. The White Ice was cool. Street Beast series. Oh, here's the old Red Baron. The first paddy wagon hot rod. The first paddy wagon hot rod and Red Baron cars were a huge success. Later versions of the Red Baron did not have the spike or the printing on the helmet. Oh, look at that. Again, these, I know I'm getting my nerd on and you can go and flip through fast, but this is this. The bad phone, hang on! Ah, oh, just another annoying. What? Hang on! Ah, oh, that was the, the shagging wagons in the shop, and it needs a belt. <laughs> we all need a belt, don't we? Street B Series! So wild, so cool. Look at that Camaro. Again, all these just have so much fun. So many cool images and cars. This is the Spy Print series. This is the Speed Spray series. I mean, it is just Biff Bam Boom series. <laughs> Look at that. I remember this one. And, and the Bajas, I'd always try and get the Volkswagens. Here's the Heat Fleet Series. Here's the Race Team Series number three. Now we saw four, so this was just before. And they were putting out a Race Team Series almost every year. Phantom Racer Series. These are cool cars. And then how cars are made, which is kind of cool. I wonder who that guy is. I'm sure it tells us there. They make a wood thing and then they scale it down somehow. Uh, but again, these little booklets to me are so cool. <clears throat> this is from 1981. Wow, oh, look at this. Just series. Here's 1980 cars. And you can use these as guides and directions I mean this here's 79 cars 78 cars like they they were only putting out a small amount now they're 
They got a little greedy, right? <laughs> They're putting out a gabillion zillion cars. All on these, but look at these cars. I'm telling you, to, I'm zipping through this fast, but uh, when I sit down and look through this book, it, to see all these cars that are just so cool. I mean, there, there's some amazingly great cars on here. Look at this. Now, we've seen this a couple times. Look at that. Red line's on there in 75. Oh, look at that motorcycle. 75, 74. You got all your red lines in there. Look at this. Oh, here's the truck that's worth a billion gazillion jazillion dollars that came in some sort of set the road king truck and people are just they actually molded it and they're, they're redoing it look at these 73 ah oh, this this is just classic for me in just a little pamphlet and i don't i can't even tell you where i got this look at these so cool now yeah I've got some of these lucky duck oh there it is these are the just crazy crazy fun cars and it's like you can see a picture and all of a sudden it'll just pop back this is one I would love to find. I have not found it at a reasonable price yet. But the power pad is just so cool to me. The Sky Show, we've shown one of those before. A friend of mine had it. The Seasider with the little boat in the back. Ah, oh, I love all these. 1970. Cool year, dudes. <laughs> oh, look at this. 69. Look at There's the Woody... The Woodmeister, the Woodenator, classic 31 Ford Woody. Oh, this is so cool. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Love this. The Shelby Turbine. So much fun. There's the Diora in purple. It's always the best. Look at the, those. Just amazing and here's 68 more oh the hot heap and here's 81 so these are showing the ones for the year that of this pamphlet and some highlights look at that and here they are how they make them they design them sketch them out someone builds a wood model then they've got a scaling machine, so they use the wood model as a scale machine. And then they make a mold. And voila! <laughs> uh, wouldn't it be cool to get some of those wood molds? Here they all are. Look at that. So much fun. Oh, is this another one? What is this one? Looks like the same one, but minus the cover. Yep. Minus a couple of the covers. So two of those. So that's cool. Here it is. The Volo Auto Museum. Bum, bum, bum. Ah! So if you ever have a chance to go, it's pretty cool. They got every sort of fun and attraction. It's not all like to snuff, but it's more like a great circus show Barnum and Bailey type of thing and they're always switching out cars they got some Dukes of Hazards there and Fast and Furious George Barris is there all the time before he passed so here's here's where you go Volo here's all the roads lead to that Volo and that's where it is so, and 
here. They've got 1848 Barn provides an entrance to five large antique malls with dealers and all sorts of fun stuff. Here's another squadron thing. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to get through all this. This is a G-Force. Look at that G-Force instruction, stunt set instruction thing. These are vintage. Oh, 1991. But I'm telling you, just this, this print material that, that shows all the sets, the drag shoot stunt, stunt set. These are just really cool when you can find these things. Oh my lord almighty, hang on. Oh, the first words out of the mouth is please don't hang up. And that's, <laughs> please, that tells me you're a foam solicitor. Here's the Sizzler Fat Track California 500 set by Mattel. Totally cool instructions for that. Oh, look at this. Wow. So cool. I know. But you got to be careful with these when you're dealing with just paper like that. But there it is. Look at that. <laughs> so much fun. This is from 1970. Where is that fat track? <laughs> right oh so cool just some vintage supercharged Grand Prix race set instructions oh look at that. <laughs> I know we got a lot we all have some of those tells you how to do it all but it's just really this is 1968 look at that got it Again, this old stuff just is so fun to see and record because, you know what, this is all going to disappear someday, <laughs> you know? Look at this. That is like a massive setup. So much fun. You got even trestles going over. <laughs> I'm looking for a date. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Look at here's all the here's all what you get with it. Again, this old stuff, very cool to me. Then remember when the Happy Meals had race cars in them. So I got some of those. Barbie on one side, Hot Wheels on the other. And again, just goofy stuff. If we could ever get our car museum going, that would be great. Here's a Johan, or Lindbergh, uh, 125th scale, car end. Here's the Auburn Auto Museum. It's a doozy. Look at those, just gorgeous. That's someplace I would love to go. Oh, letter from my dad, I'll have to read that. What is this? Your name and coat of arms. <laughs> oh, maybe that was from my dad. <laughs> Slipped into the toys. Ravel Monogram, new releases from 2001. Look at this, Edelbrock stickers. <laughs> uh, remember collecting stickers <laughs> all day long. Chopper Zone. That's a sticker too. Pretty cool. Another sticker. Look at this. I do have this one. <laughs> These are cool. Look at that. Just gorgeous. These are all things that you could send away for before they had them everywhere in the world. But again, just great little information. Fairfield Mint. I did buy one car from the Fairfield Mint. So that is pretty cool. And there's a letter saying that uh, 
the windshield was smashed on the one that I ordered. Look at that. No more racing the newsstands. Oh, look at this. This is a Tiffany spiderweb lamp. Very cool. And very expensive. There is one in House of the Rock up in Wisconsin. Oh! <laughs> Ray Rayner! <laughs> and his signature from 1974. Oh. <laughs> if you're in Chicago, you're laughing your head off right now because this guy was the morning guy. <laughs> and he was so goofy. I can't believe it. It's so funny. So, look at this. Bat fight words. Hey, oh, woo. All these are the, the words that would flash on your screen out of my bat book. <laughs> I know, goofy goobers. Oh, some good old memory stuff here. Oh. So, when the kids were little, Soda Pop and Trixie, we would bribe them with a potty buck payment. And this, they get a potty buck every time they went on the potty. <laughs> and so, then they could go buy something in the store. We would trade out. There was, <laughs> for number one, for number two, a one dollar bill or a two dollar bill. <laughs> two potty payments. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I made that up for the kids. So anyways, here's some more Hot Wheels. Uh, McDonald's things. Some more vintage trucks. It looks like the exact same one. Here's the police chase. World. So big open up type of thing with play sets. From 1997. And all the different play sets that they released that year. Which is pretty cool. Cool picture. Hair. Wet. Flipping. But now everyone's doing that online. This was way before things like that happened some instructions and oh this you know the these things would come in the uh, the advertisement papers look at that just gorgeous so cool look at this article on Ford's Tucker, that's a cool car. And these are all just like pieces and parts that you you could order off a line. Pretty cool. Real toy, construction site instructions. A couple more McDonald's things. That, oh, it looks like they have actual diet. Um, see there, you can punch those things out. And these are doors where you could drive the car into the Hot Wheels thing. Now we remember this car. We're seeing that all the time. And this one too. Oh. Remember the garages they used to have? But man, they should make those again. I don't know why they don't. Here's a basic Hot Wheels warranty out of a box. Here's a backdrop for a 124 scale car. You could do a city or a drive-in. And here is your Fishosaurus fan. Piece of paper from Vandy Camps. For your limited edition Fishosaurus Hot Wheels. So that is pretty cool. 
I got a couple of those. And here is the collector card how to for your blister packs to save your cards. Pretty wild child. And then the mega rig. Remember this? Look at that. Is that cool or what? This was Hot Wheels mega rig. I do have some pieces and parts of those somewhere in one of the storage bins. And let me tell you, that is really cool. So, there you go. There you got it. <laughs> a lot of paper and a few cars. But, old Don in D.C. sent me a box for my birthday. So, we're going to rock that one. And hopefully, we will get her done to launch on Saturday sometime. The actual birthday. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for coming in to a Toy Car Case event. Johnny Roman Supper Club. Tell your friends, like, subscribe. There's our bunt cakes. I'm tempted to dig into those, but it's just before dinner, and I'm not going to dig in. We do still have the coolest Hot Wheels in town. Or 143rd scale cars. Sitting out behind the old Supper Club for the lineup. I just want to thank you all for just being part of the Supper Club at a Toy Car Case event. I just really appreciate the people that uh, are sticking around and, and, and enjoying and interacting and just learning to learning about each other and getting to see each other's collections. Just very cool. So, thanks again everyone. Remember, look for those chippy dippies and the wacky lack of jack attacks. And especially when you walk into Mickey D's, you got to tell them, Mickey D! <laughs> Rock on, my friends! Rock on! I know you're a toy car case guy out there. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be.